Turn right on County Line Road. What's going on my friend? It's Raymond here and you're watching Check 6 Aviation and today we're checking out Sun and Fun. here at Sun and Fun and I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. I still need to register and you still need to get tickets. So I'm going to talk to these fine folks here and ask them, hey folks, where do you go to register for a campsite? Up the road. Up, up, up that road? So this is going to be my home. Well, it's always my home, away from home. And we have airplane. Actually, I think that's the Amazon Air Terminal right there, Prime Air. And all of the airplane camping, just like you would see at Oshkosh. So we finally found campground registration all the way over here. So park, walk up. Just like if I were a shipper or receiver. Nice to see I'm not the only rig here. Oh, Alrighty. Alright, we got the first night taken care of. Uh, unfortunately, nothing going on today because, well, there's bad weather. You see the clouds up in the air behind me. But we're going back here to the ride next to the other ride. Actually, kind of a nice western star, but eh, I'm not a big fan of trucks that are not aerodynamic. But that's another story for another channel. All right, we've got the wristband, we've got the part, the camping pass, and we're going to go find ourselves a campsite right now, and then we're going to go have some fun. All right, we found a parking spot, maybe a camping spot. I'm not sure yet, but right over here, right by the showgrounds, right over there. I'm not sure if this is actually where they want, where I could park and camp, because well, I'm just going to be, I'm not pitching a tent or anything. I'm just sleeping in the sleeper, but I'm real close. So I've got the headset with me, charged, because while I'm walking around, I'm going to be listening to Sun and Fun Radio, uh, available on ATC.net, I, I believe. Uh, I've got this app um, for live ATC. Here, I'll show you right here. I've got this app here. The live ATC.net uh, on my iPhone. And it pulls up. Sun and Fun Radio on one of the, right here, Go to the United States, Florida, find the, let's see, K, K L A L Lakeland, and Sun and Fun Radio. Really fat. Go to so. the Let's go do this. Let's go find out what's going on in the world of experimental aviation. And who knows, maybe I'll meet up with some familiar faces in the YouTube world. So I'm hanging out here at the Vans aircraft tent and I guess it looks like look, one of the employees here because I just had some guy try and give me money. I had to refuse. All right, so like I said, you never know who you're going to meet at air shows. I've got Jason Ellis here 
from he's also building an RV10. As a matter of fact, Jason, you were the you were one of the inspirations. As a matter of fact, in my channel trailer, I used one of your, a piece of one of your videos. Oh, I charge for that, you know. Oh well, you know, check, <laughs> well checks in the female. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so, um, so you recently sh uh, said that you're going through a little bit of a fall. Well, you know, and, and you know, which happens with every builder, as I understand, or at least I maybe I'll come to understand. So. <laughs> Your hope for being here at Sun and Fun was that this would kind of recharge your batteries a little bit. How's Absolutely. that? How's that working for you? Oh, it's going great. I mean, the nice thing about these air shows is you come out here and you meet people that like this. You know, you just walk up and here's somebody that you've talked to online, but you never actually get to meet them in person. Well, there they are, and that's really cool. And it's it, it is a very energizing. You know, it's something that that you really can't put a price to because um, you know Oshkosh, Sun and Fun, and even some of the local gatherings are amazing where you get to meet these people. These, this community is fantastic and I can't recommend it enough. And yeah, yeah, it's still, that, that video came out a little darker than I meant it to, as you might yeah. imagine, but uh, yeah, no, this is great. This has been awesome. The weather is fantastic. It's a beautiful day. Wish you guys were here. Yeah, we wish you were here too. So yeah, in, in Kind of my own self analysis of the of that builder funk. Yeah, uh, is it more of hoping to get the project done within a certain timeline and not really not needing that timeline for you? Part of it. That's part of the issue, and I think also for me, my mission changed. So uh, and and you know, I think we as people, as human beings, need goals. You know, so it's like it, like you try to you set a goal, and then if something kills the goal then it all feels pointless and hopeless, right? And so I just re needed to reset a goal, and I've kind of done that. And and like I said, people coming out of the woodworks, like my, my YouTube followers, you, you reached out to me. That's amazing, you know, what a great community. And yeah, I, I think that's part of it. And now that I've kind of changed my goal, and I realized, and this was a big one, my schedule is whatever I make it. Stop being, stop pressuring myself, you know, I'm stop being hard on myself with a, with a goal. So. Um, once I did that, and once I kind of came to terms with, I don't actually have to finish this tomorrow. I can finish it a year, two years, ten years, even. Right? There are some people who take twenty years. Once I kind of, I don't want to take twenty years, but once I kind of realized that, uh, I, it took pressure off, it took like a big weight off, you know. So, yeah, you had originally set a goal of five years from when you first started. Yeah, and, I missed and, it. <laughs> and, and, and here we are, six years later. Yeah, six, almost seven. We're almost okay, seven. Yeah. But hey, I, I want to give you some encouragement. Sure. One of my chap, my EA. A chapter mates took 28 years to build his biplane. That's but, a long time. <laughs> but yet, yes, it is a long time, and it's and it's a point that my wife keeps rubbing in my nose. It's like, what is it going to take? 30 years to build? Because she sees the amount of time that I spend away from home, and I get her perspective on this. But it's like, you know, when you have a burning desire to accomplish something, there is absolutely nothing that's going to stop you. That's that's what they tell me. So, and like you like you've pointed out, and like I've uh, heard so many times in per, in my own personal development journey, one bite at a time is, one how, bite you, at a time. is how you eat an elephant. Yeah. So, thanks for being on the on the channel, Jason. By all means, folks, if you have not checked out any of Jason Ellis's videos, see the the you know, featured channels section of of this channel, and he'll be one of those where that's right up at the top, along with Vans Aircraft. Plain Lady, uh, who I'll be running into later, hopefully. Uh, Gil, Be uh, Gil Berrios from Build Fly Go. I've already seen him roaming around. So by all means, check it out. And by, while you're at it, give me a like and subscribe. I'm only one, I'm only about a few subscribers away from reaching that magical 200 subscriber mark. So anything that you do to support the channel in any way you can is greatly appreciated. So if you watch Jimmy's World at all, you might un un know this guy. He's really, Jimmy may be the brains behind the operation, but this guy's the one that gets it done. Don't listen to whatever he's saying. <laughs> Grizzly, you were saying something about the Vans Aircraft RV-10. The RV-10 has got to be my favorite out of all the Vans line. How many hours you got? Enough said. Okay, I, I agree. Yeah, my favorite too. It's big guy friendly. Yes, it, it, I mean, I got in it at Oshkosh last year for the first time, and I found that it had massive, mucho room. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was it was roomier than a Cessna 172. Yeah, even a 182. Oh, let's well, see, I haven't been in a 182 yet. Well, there's not a whole lot of difference. Okay. So.
And remind me of the name again. Jimmy. Hey, no, no, you, no, you're Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. I, I'm Raymond from Chef Six Aviation. Okay. Also on YouTube. Okay. There Do you go. Documenting my RV10 build. Okay. Fantastic. And I wanted to help save the 310. We are saving the 310. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Here, wait. Saving the 310. Saving the 310 right here, baby. One dollar at a time. Five dollars at a five, time. There's five. There's five dollars at a time. Thanks, man. That is fantastic. Because after all, I'm about as broke as you because of airplanes. It, that, and that's that's the best way to go broke. I know, right? And you're in the right place to do it. Like, the next four generations of inheritance can be spent in these buildings. And, well, it's, we can also teach our kids how to do the same thing. That's right. And, and live an, a fantastic life doing it. Uh, you know, if there's no better life than being able to, like, an airplane, right? How awesome is that? That is the problems you want in life, is my airplane is broken. Those are the problems you want. <laughs> that is fantastic. Love thanks. the content, buddy. I appreciate it, yeah, thanks so much. So today is the last day of air of uh, Sun and Fun. I almost said Air Venture, uh, and uh, I'm heading over to the workshops and try and learn something. You know, they say it's a good thing to wrap your ass in fiberglass. Well, I'm going to see how I can get into one of the workshops and actually learn how to do that. All right, still here at Sun and Fun, and I'm here with Lee from Grex USA. And he's got a lot of good information on spray guns. Now, I'm not, we're not going to get into the prime, don't prime debate here, but if you choose to prime like I have, you're going to want to listen to this guy. So, Lee, yeah, I mean, I've got, a, I've got a, just a cheapo Northern Tool, you know, spray gun, but I, I tried it out with you know, the construction project that I've got going on because I'm building my workshop, and it just didn't work very well. Um, you know, you said something about needle size that I didn't even know about because I haven't even really dug into the manual to try and set my gun up yet. Yeah, what you're going to find from a lot of companies is they don't specialize that area because they don't know about needle size. They just sell you a gun. Okay, what I'm going to tell you is here's our X4000, it's LVLP spray gun. So we use less CFL. So the difference being is if you're using like a nail gun, it's keyed on PSI. CFM is for spray gun because you have to atomize everything properly. So if you look at a lot of the tools, spray guns, they'll atomize about eight inches to 12 inches in front of the gun. We atomize two inches. So, so C CFM is cubic feet per minute, right? Correct. Okay. All right. So what is, yeah, because we're, you know, we're used to air tools and, you know, line pressures of like 90 PSI. What should be we, what should we be using for our spray guns? Most quality spray guns are going to run around the 40 to 45 PSI. So you're not interested really in high PSI, you're interested in the volume, which is CFM. So you need an air compressor or compressor system. With our gun, I'll do 9 CFM, whereas a lot of them are running 12 to 15 CFM. So they're large compressors. Wow, okay. okay. Needle size is the other critical thing. Okay, because the needle size is going to determine what the viscosity of the material is. So if I'm doing a primer, a heavy primer, I want to use a 1.8 or maybe 2.0 needle. If I'm shooting aircraft paint, I'm going to be down about the 1.4, 1.3 or whatever. So it really depends on what I'm shooting. Okay. Yeah. And so how do we change the needle on, on this? I mean, Basically the needle is, you got this area here, you're going to unscrew it. So you see the spring come out, and this is your needle, you're just going to pull it out. Okay, and then you're going to change the air horn. So it's a complete kit. The needle size has to match the air horn. Okay. So you buy just buy the kit. All right. And you put them back in, just till it snugs up, and just screw it back in. All right. Cool. So if you're using Axo primer like I am on a, on my plane, or at least a, like I will be, or trying to shoot in, you know, shoot out, um, you know, the construction primer onto the workshop that I'm building that didn't go so well. I ended up switching to roller. And it worked much better. <laughs> then you're gonna to want to talk to you know keep this in mind for your build, no matter what gun you use. But definitely check out Grex USA. How do we find you online? GrexUSA.com. All right. 
And then from there, if you want to order, go ahead and check. Yeah, I'm sure they've got a phone number down there or an order form online that you can guys go ahead and ship out to anywhere we in the world. We have dealers all over the United States, so you can go hit our dealer locator, find somebody close to you. And we also have our direct line. Of, if you have questions, call us directly and we'll answer your questions. All right. And these guys are not a sponsor yet, but who knows, maybe in some time in the future. <laughs> Pleasure to talk to you. Great talking to you too. So, I know it's hard to believe, but I have never seen a stole competition or even a stole drag competition. I mean, stole drag, what do they, dress up in women's clothes? Well, I guess it's okay if you're a woman, but anyway, <laughs> so. Uh, we're gonna go check it out. Let's go. After three days of walking around an air show, this is the life. As we've seen this whole weekend, you just never know who you're going to run into. Well, actually, I knew I was going to run into him because he's at every air show. That's true. I saw you a day or two ago anyways, pulling in. Yes. So, yeah. it works out. Yeah, because I said, hey, what's up, Jason? Yeah, I said, who's that guy in the truck? And then he came by, and then he put it all together for me. Yeah, and then he finds out that I'm actually building an RV-10 for my very first airplane. And I As only, a student pilot, I want to add that to it. As I love a, it. As a student pilot. Yes. And I'm not the only one that is building an airplane as a student pilot. Yeah. Yes. Jason Ellis is building an RV-10 in Georgia. Okay, cool. No, north of Georgia. Uh, and he... He's not, he doesn't even have his, his certificate. I yet. love this idea of diving all into aviation. It's a, it's a commitment. You just can't back out of now, right? We're all in on this thing. I love it. That's right. Well, you could back out, but no. why, as, as, no. you, you could, you could, you could sell it. You could sell the plane. You could sell everything. But after you've gone through all of the trouble of doing, sure. getting to the point that you've been, that you've gotten to right now. Yeah. Why? Exactly. It doesn't make mental sense. It yep. doesn't make financial sense. Right, that's a good point. I mean, you know, I, I put, you know, my personal story is I put flying on hold after sure. soloing sure. for family. Wow. Yeah. And I'm getting yeah. back into it after 26 years. I love that, man. That's awesome. And let me tell you, you know, the, the skill degrade yes. is real. Yes, the knowledge of radios, all that sort of stuff. The technology has changed so much. Well, for well, in my case, yeah, the the I kept my skills sharp all these years, right. or at least somewhat sharp, right. by flight simulator. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you know, and so the radios that was nothing. Yeah. That 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 was like bam, bam, bam. You know. Right. I, I mean, yeah, I've made some made some mistakes. Of course. Of course. But it's it was like getting on a bike again after right. so long. Right. And. Yeah, landings, we're not even gonna talk yeah. about landings. Yes, yes. That all takes time to it get does. back to it. So I think that's fantastic, man. So check him out. He's got his own ground school, m0a.com. Yes. yes, full online ground school, everything else, private, instrument, commercial, CFI, all the knowledge you need to make that safer, smarter pilot. And always remember, check your six. Peace. Well, what can I say? It's day three, it's the last day. Uh, sun and fun down here and it has been a blast this is a big run up to Oshkosh and I can't wait to see everyone there so there's not I didn't see a whole lot of new stuff at least not new to me I saw some interesting stuff I got to meet a lot of people that I normally wouldn't see throughout the year and I'm looking forward to building this RV 10 getting this workshop done and you know, I actually got recognized, which was, which for me is like, <laughs> it's so awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and head out. Gotta load up to, uh, gotta go pick up my trailer in Jacksonville and then head up to uh, Savannah, Georgia to head up to pick up a load going to the Chicago area and see some family of mine and, and some friends and yeah, just living the dream. Until next time, give us a like. Comment down below what you want to see. I mean, the the video links, 
what you normally would, you know, what you want. Um, check out our social media feeds. The links are down below in the description. And as we compete with the Thunderbirds here. Uh, and remember, life is life is an adventure, but you always got to check your six. So, peace.